All right, so in this problem, we have a series of numbers, and we want to know what the next number in our series will be. So let's take a look at our transitions and try to recognize a pattern. Moving from 0 to 0, we add 0. Moving from 0 to 1, we add 1. From 1 to 2, we add 1. From 2 to 3, we add 1. From 3 to 6, we add 3. And from, three to, from 6 to 7, we add 1. Now, as you can tell, the, these this pattern does not seem to be pretty consistent, but let's see which transitions we cannot change. The transitions moving from 0 to 1, we cannot change in s besides this plus 1. We cannot get from 0 to 1 by multiplying or dividing. And we can also not get from 2 to 3 with a simple transition, and also from 6 to 7. So therefore, the transitions in between should change to something more consistent for our pattern. So moving from 1 to 2, we can multiply by 2. And moving from 3 to 6, we can also multiply by 2. So let's see if our first transition from 0 to 0 can also be multiplied by 2. And that is correct. So changing our transitions between this plus 1s, if we change it to multiplying by 2, our pattern seems to be more consistent. So we have a times 2 over here and a plus 1 that changes every transition. So our next transition, if we added 1 here, our next transition should be multiplying by 2. So if we have 7 times 2, we get 14, which is going to be the next number in the following series. And this corresponds with answer B.